So this is just a very quick match preview for tomorrow's match. Tottenham Hotspur v Brighton and Hove Albion. Of course, Tottenham are now back in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and we have got games coming thick and fast. In the next seven days, we play Brighton at home, West Ham at home and then Ajax at home in the Champions League semi-final first leg. Um, it has been a brilliant week actually for Tottenham. Although we actually went to the Etihad twice um, and lost, um, we are through to the um, Champions League semi-finals and I haven't stopped smiling or talking about it, as I'm sure every Tottenham fan uh, will feel exactly the same. It's been a, a fantastic week. Even though Tottenham lost against Manchester City on Saturday, um, the results in the top four did go our way with Everton thumping Manchester United 4-0 and of course Crystal Palace winning at the Etihad, uh, sorry, at the Emirates Stadium yesterday 3-2. Um, so it was a good weekend uh, for Tottenham. Um, anyway, four games left for Tottenham in the Premier League. It starts tomorrow against Brighton. Um, Tottenham are currently sitting in third place in the Premier League on 67 points. Brighton are 17th with 34 points. Brighton are just three points away from the relegation zone and they really do need a win as much as Tottenham do. Um, team news. Um, Hugo Lloris um, should be back. Of course, uh, Gazaniga played against Manchester City in the league game on Saturday, but um, Hugo Lloris should be back um, after suffering a muscle injury. Harry Kane is, of course, still out with an ankle injury. Um, league form going into this game. Um, Tottenham's last six Premier League games, um, we have had two wins, one draw, three defeats. Um, the two wins have actually come in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Of course, we went back home on the 3rd of April against Crystal Palace and that ended in a 2-0 win. And then um, last weekend, uh, we beat Huddersfield 4-0. Um, Brighton, uh, their league form in the last six games... Uh, they have had one win, one draw, four defeats. Um, the thing for Brighton at the moment, they haven't scored a league goal in the last five matches. Uh, losing 1-0, losing 3-0, losing 5-0, losing 2-0 and then a 0-0 draw at the weekend um, against Wolves. With Tottenham sitting in third place at the moment and we have more points than of course, fourth position, fifth and sixth, uh, Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea. It really is in our hands now to finish in the top four. If we win all of our four remaining Premier League games, of course, we will finish third. Um, Maurizio Pochettino come out and actually said it's in our hands to be in the top four and the Champions League next season. Our next two games are decisive. If we can win them, it will depend on us. Now it's time to be strong and be competitive for Tuesday and take all three points. See, I couldn't agree more. Um, it is as simple as that. I know it sounds simple, but um, if we win all of our four remaining uh, league games, um, of course, we do play um, three of them at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, Brighton, West Ham and Everton and one league away game um, against Bournemouth. Some interesting facts, actually, um, in this fixture, um, Tottenham v Brighton. Now, Tottenham have lost just twice to Brighton in their past 15 meetings in all competitions. Tottenham winning 10 of them and three draws. Um, Brighton's last win at Spurs was a 1-0 uh, victory in the old first division in 1981, so a long time ago. Um, Tottenham have lost 11 Premier League games this season, which is an incredible amount uh, bearing in mind that we are sitting in third place in the Premier League. But that is the same amount uh, that we have lost in the previous two c campaigns combined. Um, so that, that really does prove, uh, you know, 11 is far too many matches to lose. Um, Spurs have won all three games in all competitions in their new stadium without conceding. Uh, of course, we had that 1-0 win in the Champions League quarter-final first leg against Manchester City and then the two league wins uh, opening ceremony against Crystal Palace and then last weekend a 4-0 win um, against Huddersfield with Lucas Moura hat-trick. Um, none of Tottenham's past 67 Premier League games have ended 0-0. That is why, on all my predictions, I would never, ever go for a nil-nil because uh, Tottenham just don't seem to uh, to have nil-nils these days. Uh, Spurs haven't lost a Premier League game um, at home on a Tuesday since August 2007. 
Brighton's draw at Wolves on Saturday ended a run of five losses in all competitions. They have failed to score uh, in the past six games in all competitions because, of course, they, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier that the five games that they've not scored in the Premier League, but they also had a semi final against Manchester City in the FA Cup. Uh, they didn't score in that either. So it is a staggering 570 minutes since they scored their last goal. Uh, so, you know, based on these stats, it is looking pretty good for Tottenham. Uh, Brighton have lost all 10 of their Premier League games um, against the big six opponents this season. Another good stat for us. Chris Hewton, of course, a former Tottenham legend, uh, has only ever won one of his seven Premier League games against Tottenham, uh, three defeats and three draws as well. My prediction for tomorrow night, I'm going to go with Tottenham 2, Brighton 0. I think that man, Hunmin Son, the man on fire, I think he will get our goals yet again. Of course, he did score the first ever Premier League goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Crystal Palace. Um, he then scored the first ever European goal um, at the brand new stadium against Manchester City. Um, he only had four or five minutes against Huddersfield last weekend because Pochettino rested him for the Manchester City game midweek. Um, and even in those four or five minutes, he got an assist in the game. Um, I'm glad Pochettino rested him for the Manchester City away leg because, again, he scored um, two goals in that game, one of them an absolute weldy. Uh, as I say, the, the guy is just on fire. He is a real fan's favourite. Even um, at the Etihad on Saturday, um, lots of Korean fans um, there uh, for Sonny uh, had their banners up, really, really supportive of him. And uh, the fans just love him. You know, the, the, you know every, every game now, um, singing the old Sonny song, um, you know, the fans love him. So I'm sure that he will do the business yet again. He has scored 12 Premier League goals um, so far this season with six assists. Uh, he averages a goal now every 152 minutes um, and, has, and has played 1,823 minutes um, of this Premier League campaign. So I'm going to go for 2-0 Spurs. Now, with the betting companies, Tottenham are odds-on favourites to actually win this game. Um, and the betting companies don't fancy a draw either. Uh, you would get a 12-1 to with Coral um, for a 0-0 draw. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Tottenham haven't had a 0-0 draw um, in the last 67 matches. So that is very, very unlikely. Um, Tottenham are odds on. It's you know if you were going to go for a one nil Tottenham win, it's eleven to two. Um, two nil. Uh, it's funny actually. I I predicted a two nil, and uh, that is that is the that is what they're fancying a two nil Tottenham win. Uh, five to one. A two one Tottenham win is fifteen to two. Three nil is fifteen to two. Three one is eleven to one. Uh, three two is twenty eight to one. Um, if you were to bet on a Brighton win. 1-0 to Brighton is 22-1. to 2-0 Brighton is 66-1. to um, A 3-0 Brighton is 200-1. to um, So they just don't fancy Brighton uh, for this game. Um, if you wanted to go really mad and you thought it was going to be uh, a classic 3-3 draw, it's 100-1. to um, But all of those prices are with uh, Coral. But do check out all of the other um, betting companies and see what they've got to offer as well. So let me know in the comments section below what your score prediction is for tomorrow night. Tottenham Hotspur against Brighton and Hove Albion in the Premier League. And are you still confident for top four? Oh, and did I mention we are in the semi-finals of the Champions League? Come on, you Spurs. Just before I go, actually, I would just like to thank every single one of you who voted for me in the Football Blogging Awards. I was very, very lucky to be shortlisted in two categories, Best Club Content Creator and Best Blogger. Um, voting has now ended. It ended last night at 11.59pm. Uh, so let's just see what happens. The awards ceremony um, is actually on the 9th of May. It is Believe it or not, it is at the Etihad Stadium. So it will be a third trip to the Etihad Stadium, just a matter of a couple of weeks. Um, and Thursday the 9th of May, that is the day I get back from Amsterdam. So we will know on that day whether we are in a Champions League final or not. So fingers crossed for that. But just a heartfelt thank you uh, very much to every single one who voted 
Thank you very much. Come on, you Spurs.